hello guys in today's video i'm gonna go over some properties of integer exponents i'm gonna go over the properties i'm gonna do some examples along with that so first property of integer exponent is zero exponent property for example i'm gonna write it down over here if you got a number a raised to power zero and where a is not equal to 0 the answer is 1 any number raised to power 0 will always gives you 1 for example if you got let's say 2 raised to power 0 my answer is 1 let's say 4 raised to power 0 1 let's say I have 2 square then I have raised to power 0 again 1 easy so second one is negative exponent property let's say you have a number with a negative exponent so what we're gonna do we're gonna bring this number in the denominator and the exponent will be positive so a raised to power n okay and again a is not equal to 0 over here so for example let's say I got uh, 2 raised to power negative 1 so that means this is equal to 1 over 2 raised to power positive 1 okay let's say 3 raised to power negative 2 the answer is 1 over 3 raised to power 2 okay so just what we're gonna do gonna write it down in the denominator with the positive exponent and third property is product of powers property so product of powers property says let's say you got a number a raised to power m number a raised to power n so the answer for this one is see the both have same basis the exponents are different but the base is a so answer is a and we're going to add the exponents so m plus n and the example is let's say we have 2 raised to power 4 into 2 raised to power 3 so both base are same so answer of this is 2 raised to power 4 plus 3 which gives me 2 raised to power 7 let's do one more if we have uh, let's say 3 raised to power 1 into 3 raised to power 4 so it's going to be again both have same base write down the base and just add the powers 1 plus 4 which is going to be 3 raised to power 5 all right and the fourth property is quotient of powers property so for example if I got a raised to power m a raised to power n so basically I'm gonna write the base and subtract the power m minus n okay so a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m minus n this can be written as like a raised to power m into and 1 over a raised to power n 1 over a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power negative n so a raised to power negative n see now we're going to use this property here a to the m a to the n is equal to a raised to power m plus n so a raised to power m plus into negative sign gives me negative n see that's how you can write your property by yourself too the example is let's say i got 2 raised to power 4 and here I got 2 raised to power 1 so it is equal to 2 raised to power 4 into 2 raised to power negative 1 so whenever we are bringing uh, denominator to the numerator change the power with the negative sign so like over here 2 raised to power 1 was in denominator and we bring it to the numerator and 1 was positive here when we bring it to the numerator 1 changes to negative and the answer is 2 raised to power 4 minus 1 or 2 raised to power 3 
or you can just remember the property so the, the answer of this one is 2 raised to power 4 minus 1 so 2 raised to power 3 the fifth property is power of a product property so power of a product property let's say you got a multiply by b raised to power n so basically we just gonna separate the power on both the number so can be written as a raised to power n and b raised to power n let's say i got a number 2 multiply by 4 raised to power 3 so the answer of this problem is going to be 2 raised to power 3 into 4 raised to power 3 that's it or you can simplify it uh, 2 raised to power 3 gives you 8 and this gives you 4 times 4 16 times 4 64 and multiply them that'll be your answer okay so can be written in other direction too so that means a raised to power n into b raised to power n will go back to this one so remember in this one see the base is different okay all the rest properties they have the same base a a you got the same base over here a and a and here you got two different base a and b let's say i got uh let's say i got 3 raised to power 2 and 4 raised to power 2 see in this problem the base is different but the exponent powers are same right so like you got 3 raised to power 2 and 4 raised to power 2 so what we're gonna do we're gonna just multiply these base so 3 times 4 I'm gonna raise to the power one of them those like 2 okay so the answer is 4 times 3 is 12 square which is 144 okay the sixth property is power of a power property let's say you got a raised to power m and then there is a power on that okay n so this property say just multiply those powers that means m will be multiplied by n so m multiply by n and the example is let's say i got two uh, square and then i got third power of it so the answer is going to be two raised to power two multiply by three which gives me 2 raised to power 6 and you can multiply 2 6 times to get your answer so this is basically 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 times 2 32 times 2 64 yeah so 64 all right so i believe uh, you guys can do it for sure okay so first property any number with zero power answer is always one doesn't matter if there is a exponent on the number and then there is a zero power on it the second one negative exponent property like a raised to power negative n is equal to one over a raised to power n so just bring it down to the uh, denominator let's say if you got a raised to power n so that can be written as 1 over a raised to power so just change the sign of this power then it will be negative n if it's already negative then it will be 1 over a raised to power n okay product of powers same base different powers just add the exponent so a raised to power m plus n for example 2 raised to power 4 into 2 raised to power 3 gives you 2 raised to power you're going to add those 4 plus 3 see same base fourth one is quotient of power property like dividing an exponent with another exponent but remember they have same base so basically we're going to write the same base a and subtract the exponents so a raised to power m minus n and pro power of a product property you got a product of two number and there's the exponent so you're going to put the exponent separately on both the numbers like here two multiply by 4 raised to power 3 that means 2 raised to power 3 multiply by 4 raised to power 3 and the other opposite of it is also true 
let's say you got 3 and a 4 raised to power 2 both of them see different base but have same exponent so in this kind of problem we're gonna multiply the base and use the one exponent over here which is 2 so 3 multiplied by 4 and raised to power 2 all right and the power of a power property a raised to power m raised to power n so basically we're gonna multiply those two powers all right so that gives you 2 raised to power 2 let's say power 3 so 2 multiplied by 3 gives you 2 raised to power 6 all right i hope this will help you guys thanks for watching the video please share with your friends and subscribe to the channel uh, i'll be making more videos and thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye